What's up YouTube? Today we're going to critique the portfolio of a copywriter named Jock. So let's learn a little bit about Jock. Alright, so you'd be surprised how many times I get this, but I've been asked to critique a five-year-old. This is a picture of me before I started my career in advertising. Look at that happiness and innocence in those cute blue eyes. I can safely say I didn't know what I was getting myself into. Not as young Jock. This is a picture of me as a junior copywriter, now with greenish eyes and quite a bit less innocence. Older, yet still young at heart. All right, so that's Jock, and I think that's all we need to know before we jump into his work. And what's gonna be different about this review is we're gonna be reading a lot of copy because he is a copywriter, and that is what our main focus is gonna be on critiquing. When you look at a copywriter's book, you're looking for A, the idea, and then B, how well they can write copy. And that includes headlines, subheads, body copy, long form copy, short copy, scripts, all sorts of stuff. So the more variety you can show as a copywriter, the better your book will be. So first let's start on this WD-40 print campaign. So the brief was to develop a campaign to inform young adults about the various uses of WD-40. WD-40 is the solution to many of life's problems. Let's talk about the ones it can't solve. So it can't change the color of the bright pink beetle your sister passed down to you after your parents got her a new car. It can help you remove the thirsty bitches get stitches bumper sticker so you can hang on to what's left of your manhood. All right, so the idea here is that you're removing this embarrassment from basically your childhood. Um, my only thing with this is that whenever you use kind of derogatory language in your, in your pieces, especially for a brand like WD-40 who's not that edgy, it can slightly cheapen your book. So even if you were to keep this campaign in here, I don't think that I would lead with it. but. That's just the first print ad, let's read the next. It can't fix the fact that your girlfriend caught you sexting her BFF while you were out drinking with your friends. It can lubricate the squeaky door hinge you hear when your newly ex-girlfriend slams the harsh door of reality in your face. Ouch. Okay, I hope none of this is happening to you. It can't give your high school sweetheart who you've been together with for 17 years now the confidence to propose. It can help you remove that pesky that pesky promise ring he got during holy crap I can't read got you during senior year so you can get it resized for the second time all right so overall I see what you're doing here it can't do this it can do this um, I I mean I like the the overall concept and I think the print ad is super clean from an art director perspective I don't really know why some of the print is in yellow oh it's the logo I figured it out. It's the holding shape of the actual logo. Uh, that's not super apparent. To me, you should just do a two-tone here where the it can't line can all be like yellow and then the it can line can all be blue. That way you're overemphasizing what it can do using a more bold color and then you can still have that color play. But as it sits now, like I don't see the logo in that and I would just let your logo sit in the bottom right like it is and, and stand for itself. All right, WD-40 Alexa skill. To extend the campaign and reach more of our millennial consumer base, we'll create an Alexa skill to entertain, educate consumers. WD-40 can't make you a better cook, but it can remove splattered grease and polish your oven, making your date think you're handy. WD-40 can't crown you king, but it can help protect and maintain your suit of armor so you can be the knight in shining armor while larping. WD-40 can't help you serenade your next bumble match, but it can help clean and lubricate your guitar strings. WD-40 can't make and you a an Instagram star, but it can stop your terracotta pot from oxidizing and keep your succulent the star of your gram. Star of your gram. WD-40 can't stop oh. you from running with scissors, but it can help clean and maintain your scissors joints so they continue to run smoothly. All right, so there's a bit too many of these videos. I would keep it at three. Uh, it just gets a bit too much. I don't know if everyone wants to click through six of them. It's cool. I wouldn't make it an Alexa skill. Uh, if anything, this is uh, these little videos would be little uh, ads that one sees um, as a sponsored post in their social media feed. But I don't know how many people would download um, this Alexa skill to, you know, get a few of these WD-40 uses. So. Just be careful with that. So the first thing I would do is move the first ad to the third in your series, just because it does have that derogatory language and can be kind of off-putting when you first see it. It's a little bit too edgy. The other ones are edgy, but without crossing the line, I think. So I would just keep that in mind, um, at least for the first thing that somebody sees in your book, because when a creative director is looking, if this is the very first thing they see, they might love it. 
but they could also hate it and just leave your book immediately. So that's up to you um, to gamble with. I think you're you're already a junior copywriter, so you already have a job, so it's not a big deal. Um, but for most students trying to get into the business, it is very hard for that creative director to even look at your book in the first place, and you don't want to turn them off that quickly. Um, other than that, though, like pretty cool idea overall. I like the it can it can thing actually. Um, anyway, yeah, so pretty good. Um, overall, I would give this campaign. I know it won Addies and stuff, but my personal opinion is that I'd give it a seven out of ten. That's what we'll go for it. I like the idea, um, just a few little tweaks and changes to make it uh, even better. So let's go to JBL. So to launch JBL Link 20, we demonstrated the smarts of the Google Assist along with the legendary sound JBL is known for. Okay, Google, what is the best dance club? I found a few top rated places within two miles. Introducing the JBL Link with a Google Assistant. Legendary sound, now smarter. This is what your favorite hip hop song looks like on the new JBL Pulse 3 portable speaker with 360 degrees of light and sound. Red, blue, orange, purple, green, yellow, pink. Blue, purple, yellow, red, green. The Pulse 3 from JBL. Sound you can see. So it took me a second to understand the radio ad, but essentially this is one of those speakers that uh, lights up different lights um, to whatever is being played on it. So. Uh, sound you can see is really nice. I think you did a good job with the copy there. You also did a good job of leading with the with the um, primary feature before you got into the creative solve for that feature. Um, and for radio, I think that's important to help describe the product um, so that people know what's being talked about. Because if I've never seen this color changing speaker before or any color changing speaker before, I would not get that. Um, if it just started off with the red, blue, yellow, pink part. Um, so yeah, uh, cool ideas here, man. Um, I don't have anything to hate on. I just would like you to push it a little bit more, even if it's creating spec work on your own time to uh, make this a more 360 degree campaign. Cause being in the second piece in your book, I mean, there's two solid pieces. You got a little video spot and a little radio spot, but what are some print ads? What are social campaign elements that you can use? For now, they feel like one-offs instead of a full campaign. And at least at the beginning of your book, I think you need to lead more with big idea campaigns um, and less one-off pieces. Now, with that being said, they're still super good and we're gonna give them an eight out of 10. All right, so Callaway. Promote Callaway's line of superior golf clubs. The average golfer takes approximately four hours to play 18 holes. That's a lot of time to be left alone with your thoughts. So why waste it worrying about your game? You've already got enough on your mind. I like the thought, I like the thought. All right, so this is nice. I can already tell it's long form copy, which I think is very important in a writer's book because you have to show that you can write and you can't always just do that through a simple headline in all of your ads. So so showing long form copy usually shows that you have a broader range of uh, writing tools in your arsenal. So keep that in mind. Par five, 600 yards out, avoid the water hazard. Water, pools, it's like clockwork. Every time it rains, my pool's pH goes out of whack. It's annoying because I have to go out and buy chlorine from the local pool store, again. And that kid at the counter, I bet he doesn't even know what he's doing. He's always trying to sell me more chlorine than I need. I remember when my sister-in-law brought her kids over after a big storm came through. Those poor kids got rashes from our overly chlorinated pool and bawled their eyes out all day. My sister-in-law was furious. I can't remember the last time Jane gave me the look she did that day. She saves it for those moments when I've really screwed up. It's the one that screams, there's no coming back from this. Her sister just had to stop by that day. Not to mention I was out $173 and left with an excessively chlorinated pool, all thanks to some incompetent, sorry excuse of a pool store that placed some prepubescent man-child behind the counter who slings chlorine like his life depends on it. I should never have insisted on an in-ground pool. I should have just bought one of those plastic kiddie pools when we moved in and call it a day. With the right clubs, you may find yourself worrying about everything but your game. Worry less, golf more. Okay, so I like the storytelling. Um, I really do. I think it goes on a bit too long. You know, these are just a, a shit ton of thoughts that are basically happening when really, when you're out on the golf course, you just want to be calm and peaceful and uh, play golf. So uh, worry less, golf more. Uh, 
I like the sentiment behind it, but the less and more taglines are super overused, especially in student books. So, all right, second ad, par three, 247 yards out, aim for the green, green, veggies. Why can't I get Lauren to eat her veggies? I think her pediatrician loves to hound me about it each visit. It's like her secret thrill or something. She always finds a way to place the blame on me, of all people. No matter what I do, that girl avoids her veggies like the plague. I mean, I've steamed them. I've grilled them. Hell, I even tried to sauce vide those. I'm the worst. I don't know what that word is. Um, sauce vide those cute little baby carrots that one time. But no, Lauren just tossed them aside like they were the bane of her existence. Most kids have a twinkle in their eye. But my and Lauren, all I see in her eyes is hate. Now that I think about it, I never ate my veggies when I was little either. I remember when mom tried to trick me into eating carrot cake on dad's birthday. I wasn't having any of that. I pushed that cake off the table, burning candles and all. Like mother, like daughter. With the right clubs, you may find yourself worrying about everything but your game. Worry less, golf more. And as I'm reading these, I'm liking them more and more. It's from golf course to some golfing terminology that then makes you think of something else. And I like that train of thought. It's a nice way to uh, to set up the ad. So I'm really digging this so far. Par four, 453 yards out. I need a birdie. Birdie? Geese? Talk about God's gift to bad golfers. I hate those vicious bats from hell waddling around all nonchalantly like not a care in the world like they deserve your attention i don't think i've ever encountered a more ostentatious living thing in my life except for an oversharing new mother like sarah yeah congrats you're a new mother to two beautiful bundles of joy it doesn't mean i need to play by play each morning about how little timmy tommy jr waddled across the floor all on his own or how cute innocent tammy finished her formula and slept through the night like the little angel she is everyone knows those little bundles of joy quickly turn into little turds coming home late and dating a chad because let's face it there's always a chad with the right clubs you may find yourself worrying about everything but your game worry less golf more i love it i love the idea i love the concepts i think it's super smart it shows that you can really write and you know tell a story and and that's the main um, thing that we want to see when we're hiring a copywriter. So um, I think you've got the skills and I think that this long copy ad should go first in your book. And I would give this a, we're gonna go a 9.5 out of 10. Just because I'd like it pushed into a 360 degree campaign, but the overall concept idea and um, showing off your writing skills is there. So good job. So now we're going chase. 50% of Americans have less than $1,000 in their savings account, and savings account enrollment among young persons is steadily decreasing. How might we help prepare the next generation of account holders for financial stability? Your idea is to inform millennials of the unexpected costs that come with growing up in today's day and age and how they could be... I cannot speak today while I'm reading a copywriter's book, which is not a good combo. Uh, could be prepared with Chase. Oh shit, savings account. Chase, oh shit, savings account. Because trust us, shit does happen. Oh, you're using emojis. And you're really going after those millennials. I am one. Car just broke down on the way to Coachella and you can't even afford a tow truck. You just dropped your new phone in the pool while taking a picture for Tinder. Your significant other just DM'd you, we need to talk. Oh God, pregnant emoji. Wait, so taxes don't do themselves? No, sad emoji. You just spent all of the money left in your account at the bars on beer. You get home and notice you run, you've run out of toilet paper. Uh, I like it. It's showing like life's little problems and uh, you know other problems, bigger problems. Um, and it's it's smart because these are all things that are very unique to the target that you're going after, which is that young millennial right out of college. These are the life things that are happening. Super smart. Let's listen to your. Uh, your audio ads, of course. Oh, sh your car just broke down on the way to that festival that you waited two weeks in an online queue just to purchase tickets to. Did I mention you offered to drive all of your friends, including your crush, Sarah? Too bad, because the concert starts in 20 minutes and now none of you are going to make it. Maybe if you had a chase, oh, sh savings account where you put 20 bucks a month away, you would have been able to make it to the concert with time to spare and tell Sarah how you really feel. Maybe Sarah would have confessed that she liked you too, and you both would have lived happily festival laughter. But no, your car broke down, you can't afford a tow, and Sarah just texted some other guy named Brad. Brad said he would pick her up and take her to the festival in his car. This sh happens, but with the Chase O oh, sh account, you can be prepared for whatever this sh comes your way. This sh does happen. 
You're not a big fan of Brad and Chad's. Um, that's what I've learned from your ads so far. That's what I know about you. <laughs> All right, cool, man. Um, I like it. It's a whole campaign targeted to millennials um, and going through their real life problems um, as little or as big as they can be. Um, and you do it in a way that uh, really connects with that target, which is, is very good to see. You didn't just do a broad campaign for everyone, which a lot of people do. We realize quickly when we get into the industry that you are going after one type of consumer. Um, so this shows that you're more targeted and that you can do that. So really nice work here. Um, it also shows your writing skills, again, not just in kind of overall headlines, um, and uh, but also through your thought process through these different audio ads and that long format on Callaway that I'm still a fan of and I'm still remembering. Um, overall, I would give Chase for overall idea and for your super targeted campaign, let's go eight out of 10. We're gonna go eight. Banks are also very hard to do. I've worked on a few banks and credit unions myself and um, I know it's not easy. So you have to make, when you can make something boring more fun and exciting uh you know that shows that you, you've got the skills you've got the stuff so good job all right let's go to weber grills you're a grill master everyone knows it when you grill you don't cut corners you take the time to painstakingly pick out the best cuts of meat you tenderize then season never the other way around so why would you taint your meat with soot from your grill that's not you that's just wrong grill up your game with a weber grill brush you know what's revolting? Mold. It shows up when you forget to clean your grill after a weekend of fun. Sure, everyone had a blast at your last grill out, but no one wants to come back for seconds when your grill is moldier than that artisan cheese you served as an appetizer. Grill up your game with a Weber grill brush. Talk dirty to your grill all you want. While your friends might shoot you some weird glances and question why they came in the first place, we won't judge you. Really, we won't. It's your grill out. Do what you want. Just don't grill dirty. No one likes it when you grill dirty. Um, so the first ad was the best. Um, it was written the best. Then you get, it's still good, but this third one feels a little bit disjointed and less clever than the other two um, from a copy perspective. I wish that the art direction would change per one. So I wish that you'd have different grilling visuals of that really um, you know, dirty grill top or whatever, but because that just seems a little like we're just plugging and playing copy on each one. Um, and it just looks like three different versions rather than three different ads. Uh, but let's go into some audio spots. Is it going to be your voice? That gray dust on the hot dogs you served last week? Yeah, that wasn't some exotic spice. It was soot. Gray, distasteful soot. Every sooty grill deserves a Weber grill brush. Weber, grill up your game. So same voice. So even if you want to grab a friend um, and you know just someone else with a good voice, get some uh, more female voices in here as well. Um, depending on your target, it would have been nice to get some of those oh shit campaigns for Chase um, from a female's perspective and a female's voice. Um, so keep that in mind, but still good writing. Let's face it, when you've got more grease than grill, you're doing something wrong. Your meat deserves better. Your fine toasty buns too. Every greasy grill deserves a Weber grill brush. Weber, grill up your game. This is a little low hanging. It's a little too much. It's, I would try to simplify this a little bit more. Can you do it in one space? You're never gonna have that much retail space to uh, show this side by side unless they're literally side by side. But it might be that you, you know, you cut the grill at the grill top in half and on half of it, you have it clean and on the other half you don't if you want to do this kind of story um, but it's not super super creative so i would ax it it actually feels like it cheapens the campaign just a little bit overall we're going to give weber a six out of ten it's just not as strong as some of the other stuff in your book currently overall pretty good book man i think your strongest campaigns um from a glance are callaway is number one chase is number two and probably wd-40 is number three so those are my top three in your book. Um, I think that Callaway is by far the strongest because it shows that you have such a nice writing style and can 
and can do a lot more with that long form copy. And yeah, man, you're obviously a great writer. I mean, you showed that you can write long copy. You showed that you can write headlines. Yeah, overall, I would just work on your taglines. I think uh, you've shown everything else pretty strongly. And so that would be the one area in which I think you, you should work on improving. Um, but again, overall great book. If you want your portfolio critique like our boy Jock, feel free to send me your portfolio if you dare. And I will critique it either through email or critique it on the channel if you would allow me to. So appreciate it. Everyone have a good day and I will see you later.